Hi, I'm Kelly from our studio. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo of some of the custom branding options we make available in our Studio Connect. Before I get started, I want to make note that this video is for administrators, and you'll need the August 2021 edition or later if you want to make use of all the features that I cover today. All of the documentation for these features is available at docs.ourstudio.com slash connect slash admin. You'll want to go to the appendix and find the chapters on custom branding and custom landing. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got our Studio Connect up and running. I just started a quick demo server using Amazon Web Services, EC2. It's an Ubuntu 20 server and it's literally like a T2 medium that I put some extra storage on. And, and this is just what I'll use to play around with this afternoon for this video. So the first thing that I want to customize here is this page that I'm scrolling around on. And so what I'm going to do first is pull up my terminal that I am signed into the server on. And in order to customize this page, our Studio Connect actually ships with a demo asset. In the installation directory, you should be able to find a directory called our Studio Connect and examples and a landing page directory within there. So let me just see if I can find that real quick. I'll do an ls on my installation directory, our Studio Connect, examples, and landing page. So yep, there's an example called landing page in here and it contains some CSS, some images, and an index HTML file. So that is what we've shipped as an example and what you'll be customizing if you want to replace this page here. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and deploy this example and see what it looks like and show you. So in order to do that, the first step will be to move this um, example out of the installation directory. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new directory inside of user local share to store this example. I'll just navigate there and see what's inside of user local share. So let's do cd user local share and show you what's in here now. And then I'll make a new directory and call it our studio dash connect dash customizations. All right. Now I have that in here. It's empty. And I'll go back out. And I'm going to then copy the contents of the example directory landing page into that new location. This is actually given in the admin guide. So I'll just do that. Okay, so that's all transferred over into user local share. And the next step is to edit the RStudio configuration file. So I'm going to use VI and go into the connect go configuration file, which should be at Etsy Studio Connect or Studio Connect dot GCFG. All right, my file in here and under the server heading, I'm going to add a configuration called landing landing, I can type, landing dir. Okay. And here I want to give the location where I have that landing page example copy over. So that'll be user local share, studio connect customizations, landing page. All right. Now, if I did everything correctly, I'll right quit out of there. And then I just need to restart the server. All 
right, now let's see if I did it. Okay, there it is, that's the example. The next step that I wanna take is to customize this header here. So I want to replace the RStudio Connect logo with the logo of my organization. So that'll be what we do next. All right, I am back in user local share, and this time I've created a directory called custom logo, which I have now put a logo into. It's just a random logo that I just generated on Canva and had on my local machine and then put onto this server. So it's sitting in this directory, and the next step I need to do is whoop, go back into my Go configuration file and specify that I want to use that logo instead of the RStudio Connect one. So let's go back into the config file, Etsy, RStudio Connect, RStudio Connect, GCFG. All right, I'm back in here. The branding configurations are done by creating a new section called branding. Once I have that section, I want a configuration called enabled, and I want to set that to true. I then want to specify the path to my logo. And that'll be at user local share. Custom logo. And then the logo is called sample logo dot png. All right. Let's see if that works. I'm going to rev my server here. And then refresh. Bam! I have a little data science logo that's replacing our Studio Connect here. That is great. Okay, there is one more thing that I want to show you in that same configuration file. So let's go back in. The other thing you might want to customize while you're in here doing branding stuff is a fav icon and a display name. The display name is the text that says RStudio Connect throughout the product. And by default, of course, it says RStudio Connect, but you can make that uh, whatever you'd like to name your platform. So if you have a specific name that you want to use for your data science platform, you can customize that here by saying display display name and make that whatever you'd like. So maybe it's like data science platform, <laughs> really creative platform. Okay, so also like I mentioned, you can put the fav icon in here just with the fav icon configuration. I don't have one on the server, so I'm gonna skip that. That same thing, I restart our Studio Connect, refresh, and now when I go to log in, instead of saying log in with your data, uh, with your RStudio Connect credentials, it says log in with your data science platform credentials. So here I would log in, and then throughout the rest of the product, it'll use data science platform instead of our Studio Connect. The only places where that doesn't happen are the places where we have our copyright information, like here in the footer of the page, that will still say our studio PBC. And in the documentation page, for example, we have additional copyright information there. So that's all there is to customizing the basic branding options of our Studio Connect. Like I mentioned, you can go to docs.rstudio.com slash connect slash admin. And in the appendix, there are two chapters that I pulled information from for this video, custom branding and custom landing. So go visit those 
for more information.